the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Shit. That's the bastard who led the attack of Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Vart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. The Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Sir Radzik Kobila is not a Talberg? and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Sir Robart, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? You'll have to wait until everything settles down, and maybe your lord will change his mind. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here, too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. 
Unfortunately, Sir Ratzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's ally. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good Lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? I suppose because it has a strategic position and good fortifications, so it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Where did these humans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said, that they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power. God be with you. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. Persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right. I'll have a look around for something. Good day to you. What do you need? Can we trade? If you've got the coin. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone, may the.
Looks like they've already gone. when I wanted to vent my rage on someone.
one like me. The guy with a sword in his hand. He used to buy a side and he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon me like me. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. The one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. This is a good place. You're gonna like it.